Hi Scorpio, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for the time period of August 22nd to August 28th, 2023. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Scorpio, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are currently connecting to and dealing, dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's take a look at your energy first. Spirit, angels, and guides, please show me the energy of Scorpio in regards to love for this time period, August 22nd to August 28th, 2023. What is Scorpio's energy in regards to love for this time period? Scorpio. All right, here we go. First card we have for you, Scorpio, the Empress card. Okay. Yeah, let me just keep looking at the other cards. Tell me more. What's Scorpio's energy in regards to love for this time period? Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. Very focused on yourself, very focused on your work. Looks like you're having success in whatever you're doing and whatever you're working on. Or you're going to be having success. Tell me more um, about Scorpio's energy in regards to love. Queen of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. King of Cups, King of Wands, Five of Swords at the bottom. Okay. Look at this. Queen of Wands is here too. Who are all these people? Five of Swords, Queen of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Okay. Lots of people here. Too many cooks in the kitchen. All right, let's see if I can figure this out. King of Wands and Queen of Wands, King of Cups and Queen of Pentacles and the Empress card. Well, I think it's safe to say that there's definitely a third party situation going on here. Um, I think it's safe to say that. I'm trying to figure out who you are, Scorpio. All right, so I feel like you are dealing with someone who you're very focused on yourself here, Empress, Queen of Pentacles. Whoever you're dealing with, though, is showing up here. This person, whoever you're dealing with, is stressed out with the Nine of Swords. This person, whoever you're dealing with, definitely has um, a third party here. The Queen of Wands. There's a third party connected to them. Um, but we do have the Five of Swords. So this person is basically on bad terms with you and on bad terms with the third party. Basically, that's what's happening here. They're on bad terms with you and they're on bad terms with the third party. And it looks like this person doesn't know who to fix things with. Should they fix things with you or should they fix things with the third party? You know? That's what they're stressed out about. They have too many options. They don't know which way to go. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. 
in regards to this person's energy towards Scorpio. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Six of Pentacles, yeah, there it is. That's the card of a relationship. This person wants a relationship with someone. They want a relationship with someone. But the question is with who? Or with who, with who do they want, want it most? Tell me about this Nine of Swords. Ooh, there it is. Look at that. Seven of Cups just flipped over. Six of Pentacles to the Seven of Cups. You see, this person has too many options. And they want a relationship, but they have too many options. They don't know which one to choose. Because the thing is that I feel like this person, they like you as well as they like this other person, this third party, like, it's like they're having a hard time figuring out who, do, who they like more. It almost looks like they like you and they like this third party for different reasons. But the emotion, the feelings are the same, you know, or are very close to being the same. The reasons are different. Why they like you is different than why they like this third party. Or why they want you is different for the, um, from why they want this third party. You two represent different um, um, you two have different qualities different characteristics that, that this person both likes. Mm -hmm. hmm. Let me look at the, their energy here. Tell me about the King of Cups to the King of Wands. Yeah, tell me about the King of Cups to the King of Wands and this person's energy towards Scorpio. The Page of Swords. So they're watching you. They're keeping tabs on you. They're spying on you. They're very interested in you. They do have the King of Cups here. They do feel a very strong emotional connection with you, but they don't know what to do because they do have this third party as well that they haven't fully let go of. Even though things are not going well between them and the third party, it looks like there's, um, there's conflict, there's drama between them, but they haven't let go of this third party completely. It, um, not yet. Well, they haven't made a decision. All right, what do I wanna do here? Let me look at your energy a little bit more. Tell me about this Empress connected to Scorpio. You definitely know your value. I can see that. You have the Empress and the, and the Queen of Pentacles. So you know your value and you know your worth. Um, you're definitely not um, begging for this person or chasing this person. Um, in any way. Tell me about the Empress connected to Scorpio. Four of Pentacles. Yeah. Um, well, you're guarded. Yeah, Four of Pentacles is guarded. You're keeping to yourself. You don't trust this person, do you? You don't trust this person with your heart, so you're protecting your heart. And you're keeping to yourself. This person is definitely picking up on that energy. You know, 
they're definitely noticing how you're being very um, reserved in your energy. You're you're retracting your energy. You're you're protecting yourself, and you're you're detached from them. You're being detached. And they're they're noticing it and they don't like it with the nine of swords. It's making them feel stressed. They feel like they're losing you. And that's something that they don't want because they definitely see your value. And they are interested in you, but I feel like this person is being a two-timer here. Tell me about this um, Eight of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles in Scorpio's energy spirit. Eight of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles in Scorpio's energy. Okay, we do have the Page of Cups here. Hmm. Page of Cups. Tell me more about that. Eight of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles in Scorpio's energy. Tell me more about this energy. Ace of Wands. So, you know, some of you are interested in this person, you know, with the Page of Cups and the Ace of Wands. You are attracted to them. You like them. You do feel a connection with them. But you're not going to go out of your way to chase them or to beg you or to beg them to give you attention, you know? You're kind of like in this energy of, if you want me, come and get me. If you want me, come and get me. If you want me, you know, show up for me and prove yourself. Because like I said, you're, you're showing up as the empress, so you're, you're someone who knows your value. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of leaving it up to them to do the work if they really do want you, if they, if they, if they really are serious about you. Okay. All right. Let me go ahead and look at their energy now a little bit more. I might look into this third party also. All right. It's the bottom of the deck. Okay. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of this person that Scorpio is connecting to and dealing with in love. Tell me more about this person's energy towards Scorpio for this time period, August 22nd to August 28th, 2023. Thank you, Spirit. All right, here we go. Looking at this person, Nine of Cups. Tell me more about their energy towards Scorpio for this time period. Nine of Pentacles. Ooh, that's how they're looking at you. Nice. Ten of Cups. Eight of Swords. That's, that's all they have. Page of Cups. Six of Pentacles and High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. Oh, look at this. They're showing up with the Page of Cups and you had the Page of Cups. So you're recognizing them. You're recognizing them as the Page of Cups. You know they like you. You're aware that they like you. You're aware that they um, are attracted to you and that they have feelings for you. You're aware that they want you, but you're not giving yourself away so easily, especially when you feel like they're not really putting in the work to prove themselves to you. And they're not 
coming towards you with any type of um, serious energy. Yeah, look at you, Scorpio. You're not. You're 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 not having it. Nine of Pentacles to the Nine of Cups. I mean, geez, no wonder they want you. You are basically um, like you're you're owning your value. You know, like you're. You're being very confident here. You're you're portraying yourself as someone very confident in themselves. Someone who doesn't need anyone. Someone who doesn't depend on anyone. Someone who can have any. Someone who knows that they can have, you know, many opportunities. You're, you're someone who knows that you can attract. You can attract. Any opportunity that you want. Countless opportunities. And you're connected to the Ten of Cups. Why are you connected to the Ten of Cups is what I want to know. This looks like you're in this energy of like, I can make myself happy. Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups. I can make myself happy. I'm happy, whole, and complete on my own. Yeah, you're radiating, like you're radiating light, like this attractive, bright light and this confidence. It's like this person feels like um, a magnetism. They feel magnetically like drawn to you. Let me look at your energy a little bit more. Tell me about this energy that Scorpio has here with the Nine of Cups to the Nine of Pentacles. Like, what are you doing, Scorpio? I don't know. Are you trying to make yourself, like, attractive? More attractive to this person? I mean, they already find you attractive. I don't know. I'm not sure what you're doing. Tell me about the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles connected to Scorpio's energy. Two of Pentacles, okay. Tell me about this Ten of Cups connected to Scorpio's energy. Seven of Swords. You don't trust this person. You don't trust this person. You don't trust their intentions. But you do have the Two of Pentacles here. Why does Scorpio have this Two of Pentacles connected to them? What is this Two of Pentacles about? Seven of Pentacles. Uh, Scorpio, I, I think you like this person. I, I think you really like them. I think the, I think you're very attracted to them. I think you're very, very attracted to them. The, the problem is that you don't trust them with the Seven of Swords. Um, you also have a lot of pride in your energy, which is a good thing. Um, you, you have reason to, to have pride. You're definitely someone who has a lot of value and it looks like you're someone who attracts a lot of attention just naturally. So I, I am getting pride in your energy. And I feel like you want this person to come towards you, but you want them to come towards you correctly. You want them to come towards you with, with respect. You want to, and, and that's what you feel like you're not getting from them. And that's why you're kind of shutting down. You're shutting down on them because um, you feel like this person is playing games with you. And I feel like you know your worth, you know, you know your value. And I feel like you're not, you're not going to sell yourself short, no matter how attracted you are to them, no matter, you know, 
no matter how much you might feel for them or how much you might want them, you're not going to sell yourself short. You refuse, basically. You refuse to do that. So it does look like you're, um, it's almost like an energy of you kind of playing hard to get. But it's justified, you know. And I feel like you're one, you're, you're debating whether this person is worth your time or not. Because it kind of looks like this person is chasing you. If they're not if they're not chasing you right now, then they're going to chase you. They're going to chase you. They're going to try to get your attention. They're going to try to kind of um, um, get you to notice them and get you to like accept them because they do want to like have this relationship with you. They want to have a love relationship with you. And I feel like you're debating whether this person is worth your time because it does kind of look like you also want a relationship with the Ten of Cups, but you're looking for something that is long-term. Ten of Cups is a long-term relationship. You're not looking for a friends with benefits situation. And right now, you don't feel like this person's intentions um, are in the right place, or you're like, you don't trust them, you don't trust their intentions. Let me look at your feelings. Spirit, how does Scorpio feel about this person? What are Scorpio's feelings for this person? What are Scorpio's true feelings and desires for this person, if any? The Tower, the Four of Wands, the Chariot, the King of Pentacles. So you might have already given this person a chance with the Tower card and the Four of Wands. For some of you, you already gave this person a chance to kind of prove themselves to you, um, to, you know, to have a relationship with the Four of Wands. I don't feel like you've been in it. I don't feel like you had a relationship with them. I don't, I don't know, maybe you did. Some of you, maybe, maybe you were in a relationship with them. It just kind of feels like you gave this person a chance and they, they blew it with the tower card. They blew, they blew the chance that they had with you. They sabotaged it. They ruined it. And with the, cha oh, sorry, when the chariot card and the king of pentacles, sorry, I'm stuttering. I feel like this is you um, turning your back on them because they they ruined their chance with you for whatever reason. They did something. I don't know what they did. They did something that left a bad taste in your mouth, that left you feeling like you can't trust them anymore. So this is you um, removing yourself, kind of blocking them and rejecting them. But it does look like this person wants to make things right with you with the Page of Cups. Okay, but does Scorpio have feelings is my question though. How does Scorpio feel about this person? Does Scorpio have any emotional feelings? For this person? Any emotions? Any desire? Five of Wands, the Devil, and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I told you, I feel you. This person ruined their chance with you and. For them to gain your trust again, it's going to be very hard. I 
I do feel like you have feelings for them, though. I am getting that. I just feel like they ruined their reputation with you. Tell me more about this Two of Pentacles connected to Scorpio. The Fool. So it's kind of like you second guess yourself a little bit at times, but it does look like you quickly snap out of it with the full card. Okay, so it does look some it does look like your emotions sometimes kind of tempt you to maybe give this person another chance, but I feel like you quickly snap out of it like no. No, 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 I can't give this person another chance. That would be foolish of me. This person broke my trust, broke, broke my trust. And if I give them another opportunity, they're most likely going to do it again. So you're choosing to be wise here. You're choosing to play it smart. You're not letting your emotions um, take over. All right, tell me about this person with a page of... No, tell me about the Eight of Swords connected to this person. I mean, I definitely can see why you're acting this way. This person is being very wishy-washy. Yeah, Seven of Cups. Tell me about the Eight of Swords connected to this person's energy towards Scorpio. Why the Eight of Swords? Yeah, they don't know what they want. King of Wands, again. King of Wands, again. Okay. Tell me more about the Eight of Swords connected to this person's energy. Justice. Yeah, this person doesn't really know if they want a, a true relationship with you or not. King of Wands and the Justice card. They don't know. They're, they're in their head about it. They're indecisive. They're confused. They're wishy-washy. They're fickle. I think a big obstacle here is this third-party situation that they haven't fully let go of. Tell me about this Page of Cups and this person's energy towards Scorpio. Tell me about this Page of Cups and this person's energy towards Scorpio. Why the Page of Cups? Ace of Cups. They're definitely very interested in you. That's, that's not the issue. That's not the issue here. You see, I don't, you've never been in a, in a relationship with this person. You see, this tells me that you've never been in a relationship with them. I think you, the idea of being in a relationship with this person was in your head. It was in your head. You, you were picturing it, but that, that picture got ruined. It got ruined because of something this person did or said that made you lose complete trust in them. And, and now you've retracted your energy and they're, they, they're noticing it and it's stressing them out um, because they, they really do want you with the Ace of Cups. But this is, this is very like immature energy, you know? And I mean, you're the Empress and the Nine of Pentacles. Like, you're not looking for a fling. And in reality, that's what this person is like coming towards you with. They're coming towards you with this energy of like, um, it feels like a teenage love type of situation, you know, like a, let's be teenagers and, and date and go out with each other and, you know, have a good time.
but I don't see this person really, um, they're not really interested. I, it almost looks like they're, they, they reject the idea of, of a serious relationship or of a serious commitment. You know, they, they reject it with the Eight of Swords. They're, right now, they don't, they don't plan on things going that far. Right now, they just want to kind of have a good time here and, you know, have this romance with you. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles connected to their energy towards Scorpio. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles and their energy towards Scorpio. Ooh, King of Swords. Yeah, this person is restricted. I told you. I told you. Like, this is, a, this is basically the, like the energy of, yes, they want a relationship with you, but this person has um, a limit, you know, with the King of Swords. They have a limit in regards to how far they're willing to go in a relationship with you. They have, they have conditions, they have rules, they have boundaries, they have restrictions. Um, they don't want to, they don't want to get past this point, you know, like this, there's a specific point that they don't want to go past. So they're not really all in and they're not really thinking about wanting to, to be all in with you. But that's what you're looking for with the Ten of Cups. You're looking for an all-in person, you know? All right, Scorpio, I hope this makes sense to you. Um, I hope this resonated. I'm going to continue now in the extended reading, and I am going to take a deeper look at this person here. I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you, what are their true and real intentions with you, and what actions will they be taking towards you moving forward. If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.